separate the oxygen out, right? Yeah? Okay. You, they can get the carbon dioxide out of the air with electricity, right? You know? And they can stay submerged. You know, these, these reactors are going to last for 30 years, 10 years, something like that, right? They can stay underwater. They, they can stay underwater as long as they have food, right? So, so, you know, this is an amazing thing. We've got uh, a lot of aircraft carriers, a lot of strategic ships are nuclear powered. So, oh, you cut off our petroleum? Well, that's too bad, right? You know, all we need is, is, is uh, uh, reserves to fly our airplanes. We don't have nuclear powered airplanes, right? You know, so there are certain things that nu there's nothing like nuclear for. I think in the future, our energy mix for like electricity is going to become more nuclear. I'm, I'm just guessing, right? Because of the pressure to get rid of greenhouse gases, right? By the way, OSU has a nuclear engineering program, right? Um, if you become a nuclear engineer, uh, you're going to get a job just like this. People are you probably get paid to go to school, to go to graduate school, paid a lot of money to go to graduate school as a, a nuclear engineer. So, you know, there you have it, right? And then, then of course, you know, you've got to be very careful with the waste. Not only you don't want to contaminate things with the waste, but you also don't want terrorists to get the waste, right? So, so you've got to be very careful about that. Um, yeah. Well, that's that. <laughs>